Hello, I'm Liz Chappell, the South West BCE Commander. When I started with the Met, John Sutherland, a Met Chief Superintendent at the time, introduced us to a small number of people who he thought would help us to both understand policing and what it feels like to be policed. Along with Brooke Kinsella, whose brother Ben was tragically killed, we were introduced to Baroness Lawrence, Stephen Lawrence's mum. She told us that she had mixed feelings about meeting us, but wanted to because she still had hope for the future. Later, Neville Lawrence, Stephen Lawrence's father, generously agreed when I and Angela Herbert asked him to come and talk to the independent advisory group chairs from across London about race, violence, and communities coming together to understand each other. Independent advisory groups were born from the McPherson report following Stephen's death and are a vital support to policing leaders across the Met. They help advise us on issues that communities are facing. Although Stephen Lawrence died before I became a police officer, his story has always been with me and has stayed with me throughout my policing journey. I'm profoundly sorry for the family's loss. We cannot stop talking about Stephen. We need to keep learning and working to understand each other and to really listen. People are still dying needlessly on our streets. Children are still dying. Children of London. We cannot let race be a factor in this. We must not let inequality be a factor. Lack of opportunity, lack of recognition for talent, lack of sponsorship to achieve. We need to change those things. We all have our part to play in stopping children dying on our streets. Policing and the four boroughs I lead can and does seek to divert young people away from crime, working in schools and with sports clubs. We also ensure our officers and staff and volunteers are focused on and understand hate crime. And we want to recruit black officers and staff and people from other ethnic minorities into policing, so we better reflect the communities we serve. Our partners invest in education, in youth services, and in family support. You can help too, and I appeal as much, if not more, to people who don't feel directly affected or involved in street violence. For example, you may have the connections, the funds, the influence, the information, the energy, the compassion, the moral courage or all of these things to make a positive difference to all Londoners, regardless of their ethnicity or background. Have a look at the Crime Stoppers campaign, The Hardest Call. The stories are heartbreaking. We need to come together and stop children dying on our streets. Please think about how you can make a difference, what positive sponsorship or advocacy you can give for the benefit of others. Stephen, today I remember you. The officers, staff and volunteers of South London remember you. We will keep your family in our thoughts today and all days. We come to work each day to play our part in there being a better, safer and more hopeful London for everyone.